Hi there, this is Saddam. Welcome to our tutorial series. In this tutorial series, I'll show you how to use DB Flash module to create beautiful design for your DB website. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up in DB. Pop-up can be used for different cases with different design. For example, you can create a notification bar for your whole website or you can offer a limited type discount for promotional purpose or you can show a video on pop-up. You can take action using pop-up like logging, pricing, newsletter subscription and many more. On top of that, pop-up can be created based on intention such as exit intent. Let's say someone is going to close the tab of your website. Before that action, you can set a pop-up. We will cover multiple pop-up in different video. In today's video, we'll create a pop-up to collect email. So basically, we'll invite our user to subscribe to a newsletter. As you can see, I have a ready site here. By the way, this wonderful layout comes with TV Flash. You can import it with a couple of clicks. You can also use this pop-up on your existing website. I want an email subscription pop-up and I think this would be great fit for my blog post only. You can set the condition the way you want. Let's open a blog post on this website. As you can see, I reached to the blog post and started reading. Actually, I pretend to be reading. After a while, a pop-up showed up from the bottom right corner of my screen. I set the timing to 3 seconds and it's asking for email subscription. Pretty cool, right? Okay, the concept is clear now. Let's check how we can do this. Let's start by setting up the things that require to achieve this design. First of all, a website built with DB. Then we will require a DB Flash plugin installed and active on that website. I already have the setup, so let's drive in. I'm already on my WordPress dashboard. Let's navigate to DB Flash from the left sidebar menu and click on it. This will open the DB Flash admin panel. From here, we'll navigate to the settings. In general setting, we can see the option to enable pop-up. If your pop-up is not enabled, then toggle this on. Now see the DF pop-up added in the menu bar. Let's click on it. This is where we will add our pop-up. Let's click on add new. This interface for creating pop-up is divided into three parts. The first one is the title which is more of an admin thing than the content area. We'll be using DV Builder here. Then lastly, pop-up settings. Okay, first thing first. Let's add a title for our pop-up. This will not show in the front end, but it will help you track which pop-up it is. Now, let's use DV Builder for the content area. We will be creating this from scratch, so click on Build from scratch. This will give us a wireframe look at DV Builder. Clicking on the desktop icon will take you to the desktop view. You can also move to the front end builder by clicking in the build on the front end button. Let's click on it. Now that we are in front end view and the page has been refreshed, we need to select build from scratch again. For our design, we will keep thing in a single row. So let's select a single row. Now for the module, we'll come back later. Let's close it for now. Now we will set the option for the section. Let's click on the setting icon for the section. Section setting window will open up. Let's open the background and set a background image. I have my image uploaded to my media library. You can upload your image or use an existing one. Let's move on to the design tab. Here under sizing option, we'll set the max width to 365 pixels. Then we'll move to the spacing option. We'll set a margin of 30 pixel at the bottom and 30 pixel on both left and right. Now let's move on to the border option. Here we'll set rounded corner at 60 pixel all around. Okay, now is the time to set the shadow to the section area. Let's open it up. Here we will select the first preset and then for the particle position, the value will be 8 pixel and blood strength will be 16 pixel. The color will be black with very minimal opacity. You will find all the color codes at the bottom right corner of your screen. Okay, that's it for the section setting. Let's close this by clicking on the save button. Now it's time to set the row according to our needs. Let's open the setting window. 
Here we don't have to do a lot. Let's move over to the design tab and open the sizing option. For the width, we'll set this to 100%. Then we'll move to the spacing option. Here we will set the padding. For desktop, the value will be 50 pixel all around. Then for the tablet, it will decrease to 40 pixel. And lastly, for the mobile, the value will be 30 pixel. Okay, that's it for the row and color. Let's close the row setting window. Now is the time to add the module. Click on the plus gray icon from the center, then search for image module and insert it. Now let's select the image for the image container. I have my image in the media library. Let's select and upload the image. Now move to the design tab and set the alignment to the center. Then for the sizing, we'll adjust the max width as it seems a bit large to me. You can resize it according to your need. Now open the spacing option, we'll set the margin bottom 16 pixel for the image. Okay, image is done. Let's close it. Now click the plus gray icon and search for the module email opt-in. Insert the module. Let's quickly add a title text, button text and body content as well as a footnote. Cool, our content are here. Let's move on. First, we need to make sure our email account are integrated. I'm using MailChimp, but you can use your preferred one from the list. Now for the field, we will be using only email. So let's turn off the first name and last name field. You can set the success message and spam protection according to your needs. I'm keeping this as it is. Now you can see a preset background has been added to email opt-in module. Let's turn it off. Now move to the design tab. Here I'll open the text option to change the color to dark to show you what exactly is happening while I change thing. Okay, now it's visible. Let's return to the layout option and change the layout to body on top, form on bottom. Then open the field option to set colors. For the field background color, we'll set this to white. Then for the field text color, we'll set this to light black. Then for the field focus text color, is the same as the field text color. Next up is the field padding, which will be 14 pixel on the top and bottom. Then the field font, which will be trillium wave. We'll set the text size to 16 pixel and line height to 26 pixel. Then scroll down a bit and set the rounded corner to 5 pixel. We'll give a slight border. Let's set the border width to 1 pixel and the color for the border will be gray. Okay, that's all for the field. Now open the title text. Here we will set the title heading level to H5. Then the title font will be IBM Flex Sense. Then the font weight will be bold. We'll set the alignment to the center. Then the color will be blackish. The text size will be 22 pixel. Line height again 26 pixel. And it was done. Let's move on to the body text. For the body text, the font family will be Titilium Wave. Body text alignment will be center again. The color will be same as the title. The text size is 16 pixel and the line height will be 26 pixel. Done. Now let's open the button and enable custom button style. Let's style it. Set the text size to 16 pixel. Then the color is the same as the title and description. But on hover, we'll set the color to white. Now, for the button background color, we'll set this to metallic yellow. And on hover, this will be same as the text color. We'll keep the border with 2 pixel. As for the color, we'll set this to the same as background color. Now, for the border radius, we'll set this to 5 pixels. Next up is the typography. We'll send the button text to Titanium web again, font width will be bold, we'll turn off the icon option, we'll set the padding to 12 pixel on the top and bottom. That's it, our design is done. Let's close this module setting window and see if it looks great. Let's save the design and move forward to our next step. Let's click on the edit pop-up from the top navigation bar. Here we are again in our pop-up window. Our design is done. Now we need to set the pop-up in the right place. Let's scroll down to DB Flash pop-up settings. 
Here in the general tab, we will enable this particular pop-up to show on our website. Let's toggle on to change this pop-up status. We will set the trigger type on load. You can change it to suit your need. We'll give a delay of 3 seconds and the rest will be as it is. Then we'll move to the display option from the left navigation bar. Here you can specify user and device. I'm keeping this open for all. What I'm going to do is to set a condition. Here you can see the include says it will show on the whole website. But I want to show this on post only. Let's click on the enter site drop down and select post. Another drop down showed up which says all. That's exactly what I need. You can specify post by clicking the drop down. But I'm keeping this way and moving to the design. Now here in the pop-up position, we'll set this to the bottom right. Then the animation style to slide right. Animation duration to 1500 ms, which is 1.5 seconds. We are not going to set a close animation. If you would like, you can set one. Now for the overlay background color, we'll make this transfer. Then we'll keep the option on for clickable outside the pop-up area. Then we'll move the close button inside the pop-up area. Now we'll select the close button position which will be in the top right corner. Then we'll enable close button design to make it more elegant. Here is the sequence we'll follow to design the close button. First of all, we'll set the button color. Then we'll set the font size to 20 pixel. Then we'll be set the line height 10 pixel. Then we will set button margin. We'll be setting 10 pixel on top and minus 10 pixel in the left. Now click the save change button. That's it. We are done. Now if we visit our website blog post, we'll see the pop-up will show up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. You can share your thoughts by commenting on it. See you in the next one.